We cannot entertain destruction of property or life, and we cannot entertain destruction of people's business on account of political competition. It is not going to be in our equation to do that. It is regrettable, it is unfortunate that we have lost lives, that Kenyan young people have lost their lives in these organized riots. And the people who are behind these riots, the people who are funding, the people who are organizing these riots that has caused the loss of life of Kenyan youth, Kenyan people, that have destroyed people's business, that have destroyed public property. Those people should be ashamed of themselves. They should apologize to the people of Kenya for engaging in organizing and financing chaos, violence, destruction of property, destruction of life. Those people, they should not only be ashamed of themselves, but they should apologize to the people of Kenya for the mayhem and the brutality they have meted on Kenyan people, Kenyan security agencies, on people's property, on people's lives. And I want to promise the people of Kenya that we are going to eject violence from the political equation in the Republic of Kenya. And we are going to make sure that everybody's right is protected. Everybody's life, property, business is protected because the Constitution of Kenya, the laws of the Republic of Kenya, gives us sufficient latitude to engage security agencies to protect everybody's right. So, tutashirikiana namna hiyo, na mimi nataka ni wakikishia wa Kenya ya kwamba hiyo ndiyo itakuwa siyasa yetu ya amani. Hakuna tofauti. Uyu umeshimiwa mungaro ni muti ya ODM, muti ya zimio, lakini tunafanya kazi na yei. Na sija muambia akuje kwa chama yangu. Sindio? Ile ya muhimu sasa ni vile tutashirikiana kwa manufaa ya watu wakilifi. Watu wakilifi ni watu wa Kenya. Ama namna gani watu wakilifi? Ha? Eh? So, mimi nataka nuambie wale, we should all be honest with ourselves. We should stop the pretense of the people who orchestrate, who plan riots, who finance chaos in the Republic of Kenya and pretend that they are concerned. If they had not planned the chaos, if they had not financed the anarchy, we would not have lost lives. We would not have uh, lost property. We would not have lost public property. And going into the future, I hope all of us have learned the tough lessons of organizing violence and chaos. We need to be decent people. We need to be civilized in making sure that all the issues that we have, all our challenges, we face them with civility and sort them out peacefully. Ile kitu mina uliza viongozi ni kwamba tuwache ubinafsi. Hatuwezi kuwa wananchi hawa waliamuka mapema, wakaenda wakapiga foleni, wametuchagua. Alafu saa hizi hatutaki kuwafanyia kazi, ati tunawapangia maandamano na tunawapangia maafa. That is not right. Sijuu kama tunayelewana jameni. Na ndiyo nimesema ya kwamba mambo ya siyasa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Lazima tuondoe vita. Mambo ya kuharibu mali ya watu, kuharibu biashara ya watu, kupanga vijana wapigane mawe na polisi, na kutumia weapons against the police is no longer going to be part of the equation of the politics of the Republic of Kenya. Hiyo haiwezekani. Sijui kama tunaelewana. 
Si tumekubaliana mambo ya vita kupiganisha watu, kuharibu mali, kuharibu mali ya umma, kuharibu biashara ya wananchi isiwe ni katikati ya siasa za taifa letu la Kenya. Sisi ni inchi ya demokrasia. Wa Kenya ni watu wapenda amani na sote tunataka kushirikiana na kutakuwa kutatua changamoto zetu kwa njia ya amani, kwa njia ya heshima, kwa desturi mzuri ndio tuweze kupeleka taifa letu la Kenya mbele. Ni sawa watu wa kilifi. Hapa leo tumekuja kufungua hii landing site ambayo pale iko na mahali ambapo wanaweza kupanga mambo ya uvuvi ile samaki itatoka baharini tumepanga mahali wanaweza kuitengenezea ndio iwe tayari kwa soko tumepanga vile vile pale sasa iko na vifaa ya cold room pale iko na kifaa ambaye itakuwa inatengeneza ice na tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba mambo ya uvuvi katika bahari yetu hii inaongeza mapato ya uchumi katika taifa letu la Kenya. Nyinyi mnaelewa ya kwamba uchumi samawati ama blue economy inachangia karibu bilioni 15 bilioni 20 saa hizi. Nia yetu katika hii mipango yote tunayofanya ni kuhakikisha kwamba uchumi samawati ama blue economy ichangie kati ya bilioni moja na bilioni moja ishirini baada ya miaka tatu. Na ndio sababu hiyo tumesema tuwe na mpango kamili. Tuwe na mpango mzima ya mambo ya blue economy kuhusiana na wavuvi vile watakuwa na vifaa watakayotumia kwa ufufi kati mambo ya eh, fishing gear wawe na boats kuwe na facilities ya landing kuwe na mpango ya vile itafika sokoni ikiwa katika hali ambayo haijaharibika ile samaki imetolewa pale baharini na ndio sababu hiyo hii mpango kuanzia kule Lamu mahali nilikuwa jana tunajenga landing site kama hii kule Mkoe tunajenga ingine hapa Ngomeni tuko na hii ya kichwa cha kati tuko na ingine pale Mombasa mahali inaitwa Kidongo tuko na ingine Vanga tuko na ingine Shimoni tumeweka almost nine landing sites katika hii ufuo tuhakikisha kwamba wavuvi wetu wanapata vifaa ambayo watatumia ili uvuvi uweke pesa kwa mifuko ya wavuvi na pia itutolee chakula kule baharini tuweze kuondoa matatizo ya njaa katika taifa letu la Kenya. <laughs> Landing site kama hii tumeweka karibu shilingi bilioni moja kufanya kazi hiyo. Vile vile tumesema ni vizuri tuhakikishe kwamba wale ambao wanaendesha boats na pia wavuvi wetu tunawafanyia capacity building tunawasomesha wawe na ujuzi wa kutosha wawe na masomo yanayofaa ili waweze kupata nafasi ya kuendesha kazi hiyo na kukitokea ajali kule baharini wawe pia wako na masomo ya kujua wataokoa maisha vipi sababu hiyo ndio tumeweka mpango maalum kwa Kenya Maritime Authority na tumesema haya masomo mafundisho ya wavuvi mafundisho ya Coxwain ile mheshimiwa alikuwa anasema inalipiwa gharama tumeamua kama serikali tutaifanya na gharama italipwa na serikali ya Kenya tunataka kuhakikisha ya kwamba all the 2000 Coxwains along this uh, Indian Ocean on the Kenyan Indian Ocean all of them are trained they are trained on the uh, capacity building on making sure that they have the relevant expertise on ensuring that they know how to ensure that there is safety and they also know how to save life in the event there are accidents in the ocean and additionally train also fishermen so that we can improve our catches in the ocean so tutashirikiana pamoja katika hiyo mradi mzima na pia 
tumekubaliana ya kwamba lazima tuwasaidie vile vikundi BMUs na ndio sababu hiyo nimefika hapa leo tuko na BMUs wa hapa Kilifi County karibu vikundi ine. na nimebeba hundi ya shilingi milioni na tisini. 190 million ya hawa vikundi tunataka wawe na equipment wanunue equipment ya kufanya fishing tunataka wanunue vifaa zingine ambayo itasaidia hawa katika biashara biashara ya uvuvi na tunataka pia tuwasaidie watu wengine na livelihoods tukubaliane ya kwamba tunaweza kushirikiana katika hiyo mipango yote kwa pamoja kesho nitakuwa kule Mombasa nitakuwa kule kwale katika harakati hii ya kuhamazisha wananchi na vile vile eh, kushughulikia wale watu ambao watatusaidia kuongeza mapato ya uchumi katika taifa letu la Kenya kutoka 15 billion to 100 billion in the blue economy sector hiyo kazi haitafanyika na serikali peke yake itabidi sote tuungane tushirikiane hapa hapa kilifi tuko na mpango mkubwa ambayo tunaitwa galana kulalo nilikuwa na governor wenu kule hivi majuzi tayari tumeanza huo mradi mwaka huu in the next one year tutakuwa tumelima ekari 1200 nia yetu ni kufikisha ekari 1200 kati ya 1200 na 1300 tusalishe chakula ya kingi tunataka hii pwani isiwe tena mahali ambapo pana njaa tunataka hapa pwani iwe ni gala la taifa la Kenya watu wa hapa waanze kwa kupata chakula ya kutosha i want to promise you kulikuwa na mpango mbaya ya watu kujaribu kugawanya ile shamba hiyo mpango nimeifutilia mbali na nimesema ile shamba itatumika kuzalisha chakula ya watu wa pwani na wa Kenya and all we are doing we are working with the private sector on a lease basis wa invest katika kuzalisha chakula mumeona katika mitandao ekari 500 ya kwanza imetoa chakula ambayo haijawahi kuonekana dunia hii tunataka sasa kuisukuma kabisa nilikuwa jana kule tarda we are doing the same nitakuwa tena eh, 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 katika sehemu ya kwale kule we want to do the same tunataka kutumia hii maji ambayo inaenda baharini kuzalisha chakula katika taifa letu la Kenya muhimu sana watu wa hapa kilifi mimi nataka niwaulize bado tuko na watoto wengi wako nyumbani hawaendi shule regional commissioner wa hapa county commissioner wa hapa machifu wetu mpaka kule chini nyumba kumi. ni hatia mtoto badala ya kuwa shuleni ako nyumbani that is an offense in the laws of Kenya tunataka kila mtoto wa Kenya aende shuleni sikizeni watu wa kilifi mahali kutapatikana usawa katika taifa letu ni pale kwa elimu mtoto wa tajiri mtoto wa maskini mtoto wa mama mboga mtoto wa rais wanakuwa sawa kwa mambo ya elimu katika budget ya mwaka huu tumeweka bilioni 630 kwa mambo ya elimu ya watoto wa Kenya wewe mzazi wa hapa kilifi pesa ya umma ambayo pengine hata wewe umechangia kwa ushuru tumeweka kwa masomo ya watoto wetu lakini mtoto wako wako nyumbani akili yako kweli ni timamu <laughs> wewe umechangia ushuru ambao tunasomeshea watoto wa Kenya alafu mtoto wako hayuko huko shuleni umemweka nyumbani sio ni upumbavu mkubwa sana so tafadhali mimi nataka niulize wazazi kila mzazi tunataka watoto wetu wawe shuleni ya pili kwa sababu elimu ni ya muhimu sana 
mimi mwaka huu niliwaambia kwa mambo ya uchaguzi wakati tulikuwa tunaendesha uchaguzi niliwaambia tutaweka pesa ya kuajiri walimu hapa kilifi Januari mwaka huu tuliajiri walimu 950 Kilifi County Mwezi huu ambao umekamilika mwezi wa saba, tumeajiri tena walimu 1500 wa Kilifi County Kwa sababu tunataka watoto wakienda shuleni wanapata mafundisho kwa sababu kuna walimu shuleni Mwaka huu in the history of Kenya we have hired the highest number of teachers ever hired in Kenya we have hired 55000 teachers in the last eight months because we want to make sure that equality and equity in the Republic of Kenya becomes part of our architecture by making sure all our children are in school and they are learning tumesema kuanzia mwaka huu mambo ya school feeding program tunaongeza kama serikali kutoka watoto milioni moja mpaka watoto milioni ine shuleni watapata chakula shuleni na tumekubaliana ya kwamba county governments wanaweza kushirikiana na sisi county government wakiweka shilingi mia moja tutawasaidia na ingine mia moja tuhakikisha kwamba watoto wetu wengi wanapata kwenda shuleni na wanapata kusoma na njaa isiwazuie kupata nafasi ya kupata masomo lakini hiyo kazi yote haitaenda sambamba kama watoto mnawazuia nyumbani tunataka watoto wote wawe shuleni na tutaanza na kila chief kama kwako watoto hawaendi shule utakuja kutuambia kazi yako ni nini mimi nimesema hivi pale nyuma hawa machifu wetu walikuwa wanafanyishwa kazi ya siasa. Oh, sijui unga huyu mkono, sijui BBI, sijui nini. Nimesema wafanyikazi wa serikali sio kazi yao kufanya siasa. Siasa sisi wana siasa tutajipanga. Na watu wetu wa vyama na wale mapresha group na wale ma lobby group tutafanya na wao. Wewe chief fanya kazi ya serikali panga watoto waende shule hakikisha kwamba kuna usalama hakikisha kwamba matibabu inaenda sawa sawa hakikisha kwamba miradi yote ya serikali inaenda sawa sawa mambo ya siasa wacha sisi wana siasa tutajipanga sio kama tunaelewana tuko pamoja so tunataka tuendelee sambamba hivyo ndio tuweze kupeleka hii dunia yetu mbele hatuwezi kuwa tunapanga vile tunasomesha watoto wetu na hatupangi vile watapata ajira. Ndiyo sababu tumesema kuanzia mwaka huu tunapanga ajira ya hawa vijana. Wakitoka college, wakitoka university, wakitoka shuleni tuwe na mpango maalum ya vile watapata ajira. Na ndiyo sababu tayari tumepata ardhi ya kujenga nyumba elfu moja za Kilifi County. Na hizo nyumba tunataka tujenge elfu kumi hapa Kilifi County. Watu wakilifi mko tayari? Katika hizo elfu kumi nyumba tunahitaji vijana karibu elfu arobaini watakao tusaidia kwa hiyo kazi. Vijana wakilifi mko tayari? Ama nyinyi ni wale wa kuchagua jembe? Eh? Kazi ya plumber ikipatikana simtafanya? Ya electrician simtafanya? Ya carpenter simtafanya? Ya mason simtafanya? Si tulisema kazi ni kazi? Ama tulisema aje? Si tulisema kazi ni kazi ile kazi itapatikana kwa sababu we want to make sure that we have a clear program on how we are going to create opportunities for the young people of the of our nation to have jobs